Hey rock stars, are you challenged with discounting your product for friends and family? Mm -hmm. I know about that. I know that oh too well. That infamous friends and family discount. I'm going to show you how to get around that one. You know what we do. Grab your favorite beverage, tea, your coffee, whatever you're rocking with today. This one is going to be fun. Cherie Santiago, aka the Corporate Concierge, where I help people start businesses, stay in business, and do what they love. All right, let's talk about it. The infamous friends and family discount. Just the thought of it gives me chills. Let me tell you, it really does give me chills. I don't know what it is about starting a business and our friends and our loved ones, they get so excited for us. They love what we do, but don't want to pay for it. I don't, I don't understand what that's about. Everybody wants to get something for free. Oh, because you're their cousin or oh, what have you. No, I'm not talking about your mother or your father. I'm not talking about that. We're we going to take him on dad. Absolutely. You know, but people want to, I don't know. They just want to seem to get something for a discount. Maybe they don't take you seriously, but we're going to change all that today. You are the one who has been working tirelessly on launching this new product. You just birthed this baby. It means everything to you. You have you had sleepless nights. You're working your nine to five and coming home and putting in six more hours on your business. You've taken money out of your savings to, to produce your, to produce your product. This is all you. Don't let nobody cheat you out of that. Don't let nobody, don't let nobody devalue your hard work and your effort. The only way that anyone can do that is if you allow them to do that. So we're not doing that, right? I'm listening. No, we're not going to do that. Now, Sheree, how do I handle that when my cousin comes over to me and they want me to give them two for the price of one? I'm going to tell you. What you say to them is that the price is $12.99. That's how much it is. Either you want it or you don't. That's it. Because think about it. They're not going to go to, um, let's just say they're, they're scrolling through Facebook and they see someone selling something they want. They're not going to inbox that person and ask them to get you for free. So why should they do that for you? Why? Because you guys have the same blood? Because they know you? If anything, they should want to pay you more so that you can succeed. Stand firm on your ground on this. Stand firm because as soon as you start to discount, then the next one's going to want and the next one's going to want and the next one's going to want. What I like to do is annually you could do a friends and family discount. T-Mobile does it. Macy does it. All the big dogs do it. Why can't you do that? You give them a promo code, you set it up, they use that promo code, it's for the holidays, that's when they can get their two for one or they get a significant discount, percentage discount, that's when you do it. And that's just for your friends and just for your family and you only circulate it to that small collection of people. That's it, okay? That's how you handle it. You also want to make sure that when you're pricing, another challenge entrepreneurs has is knowing exactly how to price their product. Please, please, please make an account of everything that it costs to make your product. Everything that you're purchasing, if you just have one thing that you're making, list all the expenses that it takes to create this one product. Do you? How much is it to buy jars? How much is it to buy product? How much is it to buy the labels? All of the things that it takes that you purchase to, pr to produce this product, list it in your cost. That's your cost. Then you want to list the time that you're putting into it to make it. Let's say this is a handmade product. How many hours does it take you to manufacture one item? And put some cost associated to that. Is it $20 an hour? Is it $15 an hour? Whatever that is, add that onto your cost, and that's your product. And then, of course, you want to add on 
some different things you want to add a little bit of profit, a little bit of padding, or what have you. Starting out, I know that a lot of times entrepreneurs don't want to price too, too high, but don't shorten and don't cheapen your value, your time. You're working hard on this. You're probably working harder than you ever had in your life because this is something for you. This is your product, your baby. Don't cheapen that. We go out there in the world and we work really hard for everybody else. I, I, myself included. I used to travel here, there, and everywhere and take the red eyes and different time zones and go jump off a plane and go right back into the office and I was sleep deprived and tired and have to go home and, and do all these things and do it all over again. Why won't we do that for ourselves? Make sure that you are putting that into your pricing structure. Make sure that you're covering all of the bases. And I'm going to add some links in the description here of some resources that will really help you kind of figure out the best way to price your products and to price your services. And once you figure out the best um, method for you, you do that for everything. If your price is $12.99, I'm sorry, but Uncle Michael, you're going to have to pay $12.99, bro. That's just what it is. Okay, let's also talk about professional discounts, or what I like to call earned discounts. So I had a customer who purchased PowerPoint presentations along with some event services. These were presentations that they were going to be presenting at their event. And in addition to that, they also wanted some of my travel services, arranging a few cars for their um, high profile um, customers coming in and things like that so they had a really nice package which was kind of up in the thousands and so I took off a little bit of that in appreciation to for their services I was still making a good amount of money everything was great I didn't lose anything I could afford to do that this is how you handle professional earned discounts when you invoice them make sure you list the full value of every service they purchased full value and then you put the discount on there it's so important to do that because in that way when they refer you and they will because your product and your services are amazing because i just i already know that when they refer you they're going to refer you at full value they're going to say but this is what it cost okay that is so important that is so key. Whenever you give anyone a discount, any time that someone is not paying full value for your services by your choice, make sure that they know what the full price is so that when they communicate it to the next person, that new customer understands that this is what it's going to cost them. This, there's, there's always that awkward conversation you have when someone just says, comes to you and say, well, Dan told me that he only paid 450 for it and now you want me to pay 500. Now you gotta explain to them, well, Dan got 450 because, and damn Dan, you know, now he didn't created this problem for you and you wait until I see Dan again. But now you have to explain to this customer why Dan got a, a lesser price than he did. But I will have that conversation because this is the cost of my product you're brand new, you're going to pay that cost. Okay? Don't cheapen yourself. This is your baby. I'm telling you, I tell you guys this all the time. If you don't believe in yourself, if you don't believe in your product, if you don't believe in your services, no one is going to believe in it. So you need to stand firm on your pricing. Stand firm on that. If you want to have a family and friend discount, do it annually, maybe, maybe a couple of times a year, and use a promo code. Use something that you can identify what the discounting is. And that way, it'll also help you come tax time and accounting time as well. So you'll know, okay, well, this is how much money I made at this price structure. This is how much money I made at that price structure. Very important, invoicing. If you're offering discount, show full price list every service, every product at full price, and then put what the discount is. You might want to start making some lists of different types of discount. You know you go online and you get 25% off and it's a particular code. Start creating those. 
if you're using a e-commerce website you can do those things if they make it really easy for you to identify your discounts that way too it will also help you when you're doing your analytics to kind of understand okay when I put this 15 to 15% uh, 15 discounts for friends and family, I get this kind of traction. When I give 10% for this, I get that kind of traction. So it will just also help you navigate going forward. Okay. So the next time one of those friends come over to you and just say, Hey, can I get two for one? You can say, you can pay me twice for one. No. Okay, just make sure they pay full price, okay? All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little button. That way you don't miss any of uh, my videos. I post videos weekly, and we're going to have a lot of fun doing this. I'm really trying to just bring to you some of the things that you're going to go through as an entrepreneur that you just might not be prepared for, and I'm just trying to make your life a little bit easier. Talk to you soon.